Today in Matt's class, we are going to talk about how to illustrate a monotone sketch with black and white color pencils with one extra color. Welcome back to another edition of your fave Matt's class. And what we're gonna to do today, very similar to the monotone sketch that we did previously with the black and white color pencils. Now we are moving into limited color and we are adding a single color pencil. What's great about this is I find a lot of times students are very timid about moving into color and there's so much to think about and they kind of lose sight of a lot of the principles of really good illustration that they're kind of already used to doing with black and white and then suddenly moving into full color it seems like everything falls apart so I like to teach color where you're moving into it slowly and that begins today. So what we are doing, we are just adding a single color pencil. What's great about today, it doesn't even matter what color it is. You could be drawing an illustration like a portrait of a person. You could be using lilac or you could be using green or some crazy color like that. In this case, this is Lian Hua from Aladdin 3477. This is a character sketch that I did and this is black and white color pencils. It's a monotone illustration on the Artigan paper. This time though, there is one color pencil added and this is a cool hot pink color and it's just got a really nice look. It's not a full color illustration, it's limited color. In fact, there's just one color. That's if you don't consider black and white colors because really they're not. White is the absence of color. Black is all colors mixed together. But there is the tone of the paper and that is kind of a color already and then we're adding a single color to that. So in a way, it's kind of like a two color illustration. How it works, here are some previous demos that I did. You're using the black and white color pencils, but then creatively, you get to add in one color. So here on purpose, I used a laser green, a neon green, just to show, yeah, maybe it's a little bit weird that there's green in there, but I don't think anyone would look at this and be like, yeah, nice drawing. Too bad his face is green. No one's face is green. No one would ever say that. This just happens to be kind of a limited color illustration. It's kind of cool because it swings into green tones. Here are a number of demos that I did, and this is just kind of adding some different color. And the great thing about it is you're still focusing on contrast. You're still focusing on light and dark, but you can also steer things into another color. You can see here, I even took white and orange and I blended it to make it look like it's a lot lighter closer to the face and it kind of blends into a more medium orange as it fades out from there. So there's a lot of different tricks that you can do adding in a single color where you softly shade in, in this case a little bit of orange. I added orange lips, I added orange into the iris of the eye, but then I did a really heavy opaque orange to really separate the tone of the face from the background. So as soon as you're adding another color, you're instantly kind of adding to your bag of tricks that you were previously able to do with the black and white color pencils. This I started drawing uh, Marcella and I just had a pink color pencil. So I've got black and white. I've got the tone of the paper. Without even drawing in the face, you can see how it's really interesting using subtle color placement. Down here, I was using uh, yellow. So here is the skinny with adding in your single color. If you remember from the last video, I kind of showed that you've got five values. The only thing you don't want to do, you don't want to mix your black and white color pencil because that looks, uh, that looks like poo poo. You don't want to do that. Instead, you want to go from white transitioning into paper, then into black. Now, as soon as you are using a single color, that is a game changer because now you can actually start to mix color with your black and your white color pencils. And because they're waxy, you can actually get some really cool blending by mixing them together. So here is the rule for mixing your color pencils. I said previously, because I didn't want to mess you up with all these crazy rules, I said at first, you don't want to mix your black and white color pencil. The reason why, it's not that you never want to mix color pencils, you don't want to mix black and white. And the reason why is because they are very far apart in value. 
So you've got this, this is your whitest white, this is your blackest black, this is as light as you can get, this is as dark as you can get. If you mix really light with really dark, you're gonna get uncontrollable poo-poo. No one wants that. What you can do is you can have something really light. Let's say you've got white. Mixing into green. Let's see what that looks like. Fade into green here. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. And maybe we'll fade that into darkness. And you can go back and forth if you need to kind of adding in a little bit of green. And then if you need to pull some of the white back into there, it gets a little bit waxy, but because they're not as far apart in value, you have a little bit more control with your waxy blending. It's a little bit easier to blend white into a medium neon green than it is black. Going from white to black is, is, is a tough call. Then this, I don't know if this is gonna work as well. Let's try going into black because this green is still a little bit lighter than black. We might be able to mix it though, let's try. So if we kind of blend in the black going that way, uh, that didn't work as well, but it's not as bad as poo poo up here. We might be able to mix some of the green back into there. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> you know, going from neon green to absolute black isn't working for us as much. So I'll give you another example of what isn't gonna work. Let's say you've got yellow. Yellow is relatively light. And let's say we've got this purple color. This is almost like a dark blue, like a dark purple. These are not gonna mix well. Now, a lot of times yellow and blue makes green, but this is not a light blue. This is like a dark blue kind of purple. If you mix these together, they're complementary colors, and you can mix complementary colors. That has nothing to do with it. This is a light yellow and a dark blue. These are not going to mix. Watch what happens when I mix this yellow into blue. Now I've got this blue. I'll try mixing that. Ah, oh, it's just completely unpredictable. I have no real control. It's just, it's so dark. Oh, and then so light that just, oh, that looks crappy. That just, man, I just, I have no control over where it's darker, where it's lighter. It's kind of all or nothing. It doesn't mix good. It has nothing to do really with the color. It has everything to do with the value. You do not want to mix something really light into something really dark. So that's kind of the rule that you want to think of. Other than that, we now have a lot of options. We can mix white into the paper. We can mix dark into the paper. And now we have another color that we can go a little bit lighter, sometimes a little bit darker, depending on what your color is. So this is a huge game changer. Even though it's just a single color, there's a lot more that we can do. I've got this monotone drawing that I did. I'm not like that proud of this drawing. I think I just did this for a quick demo. But one of the things that might make this stand out a little bit more is adding in a pinch of color to Khaleesi. So what we can do, we could add in like maybe her eye, give that like a pinch of green, like that, like, ooh, already? Like, that's kind of fun, right? Do we add green lipstick or something? What would happen if we just did a little bit? Oh, that's fun, yeah, I like that. And what's great, we can transition some of it into the tone of the paper if we want, but also, we've got the highlights here. Now, I can cover the highlights, and that's making the green even brighter. But let's say I covered the highlights too much and I'm like, oh, I wanna bring in some of that highlight just a little bit more, which I actually do wanna bring that back a little bit more. I can take my white color pencil and look at this. I can actually bring out those highlights back into it. That looks great now. I could add a little bit of blush and the fact that I'm adding a little bit of color here, not into the hair, but into kind of the cheekbones, like kind of where the blush would be. It's just kind of nice and it helps separate. It's just a single color, but it's separating the hair that doesn't have any color with some of this skin tone. You might be like, oh, that looks weird. I don't want to put green blush in my character. You don't have to, and it doesn't matter what color you pick, or you might pick something like an orange, or you might pick like a skin tone for your one color, and that's totally fine. My point is, 
it doesn't even at this point it doesn't even matter what the color is you can do a beautiful one color monotone illustration with any color and you can make it really cool obviously she's got this little dragon so there are different techniques that we can do kind of adding in a little bit of color maybe the eye won't be colored green so that that eye stands out and maybe there's areas where we go a little heavier with green and then maybe there's areas not as much it's not just like putting green everywhere oh it's a green dragon you've got the ability now to kind of pick and choose where are you going to go heavy with it and where do you want that green to stand out and then where do you want to kind of like let it go a little bit more and let it drift away a lot of times what i'm always trying to do i'm always thinking about edges so i want to really separate in looking at this image quickly i had a hard time separating what is the dragon what is her hair what is her ear I mean, you can kind of see there's a dragon on her shoulder, but like, is this part of a wing? What is this? Well, now that I'm adding in this green, it's very clear what is the dragon and what is Khaleesi. Like already, there's definitely this separation between what's over here and then this is her head behind it. That little pop of color is definitely our friend. And we don't necessarily have to add it everywhere, but I'm just gonna kind of throw it in here. Not as much here, but just enough to kind of separate it. A little bit stronger kind of on the edges. I wasn't really a fan of this drawing. I don't know why. I, I couldn't put my finger on why. I didn't think it was as successful, but now that I'm putting these little pops of green, I mean, it's a little weird, but I think it's kind of cool. The other thing now is I have an opportunity to put some in the background. Because I have the dragon over here, I don't want to also put green on the other side of the dragon, but sharpen my pencil. I feel like if I add some pops of green over here on this side of the face, it's mixing a little bit weird with the black, not gonna lie. It definitely is helping to separate the face from the background. And man, this green, it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit neon green, a little bit laser green but I feel like this image now definitely feels like Mother of Dragons. I have to admit, I like this better now than I did when it was just black and white. It's, it's a little green, it's a little neon green, but it's limited color and I feel like, I feel like this is nice. I feel like this kind of stands out cool. And, um, and I, I don't even have the reference anymore, so I was just kind of making up. If I had the photo reference, I could again maybe pick and choose a little bit better what colors I'm putting where, but just off the top of my head, I feel like this helps make it pop. I want you guys to come back for another video where I'm gonna show you how to add in a single color, and I'm gonna start from the beginning and really kind of go in with the darks and lights and show you how to add it in. All right, come back for the next one. Did you enjoy class today? If so, give me a like. If there's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, let me know what that is in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got a video series called Sketchbook Challenge that helps your drawing, creativity, and fill up an awesome looking sketchbook. Plus, there are videos on You Can Draw Star Wars, Hollywood is Dead, and sneak peeks at the Aladdin 3477 Motion Picture Trilogy. In order to not miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Sharing is caring, and it's great to inspire your friends. Share this video on social media, and your friends will share awesome art tips they find with you. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram. I'll see you back in the classroom soon. Don't be tardy.